Hey everybody, Liz LePage here. I know a lot of you guys are really excited for On One Photo Raw, and I want to share with you one of the main reasons why I'm really stoked about what's coming. Instead of just using On One as a plugin, I now have access to so many new tools that allow me to start, edit, and finish my images here inside of RAW. So instead of having to go through another program, instead of having to organize my images in Lightroom or access RAW processing through Camera Raw and Photoshop, all of the changes that I need to make to my images exist inside of RAW. And what's even cooler is we give you the ability to access other programs as plugins through On One. So there's actually a lot of really awesome new workflow routes that you can take starting inside of Browse and going through the programs of your choice. I want to walk you guys through a workflow for me and show you how to access other programs as plugins from Browse. Let's go ahead and start by accessing our new film strip view. And I'm just going to sort through my images really quickly. Everything pops up really fast, so I'm not waiting for previews to happen. I can sort my images lots of different ways. I can give them star ratings, labels, like or dislike them. So going through my images is really, really fast here, which is awesome. When I'm ready to actually edit my image, I'll just go over to the right hand side and click on the program I want to go into. And we're going to start out inside of develop. On the right hand side, we've got overall settings, which adjust things like exposure, we can add contrast, highlight and shadow recovery, we can go in and add structure, we can adjust color changes. So if we want to warm our image up a little bit, add some vibrance, there's a lot of adjustments we can make to our photo. What's even cooler is we have this show more button at the top and these are all of the different dialogues that you can apply to your images. So if we wanted to go in and add skin retouching or sharpening or curves, we can go ahead and select the ones that we want to access. We also have access to local adjustments, which means that I can make individual changes to certain parts of my image by using our masking tools. A really good example of that would be, I wanna lighten up the subject in my image. She's a little bit darker than I want, and I can go in and you'll see I have a masking brush already selected and all of my masking brush adjustments are up at the top of my screen, including the perfect brush. I'll just paint on my subject, and then on the right hand side, I'll start making changes. We'll go ahead and up the exposure a little bit. We're going to add some contrast and definitely add some detail as well as decrease the vibrance just a little bit. Sometimes when you add vibrance to the overall image, it adds a little too much to skin tone. So we can go in and do that. So with overall settings and local settings, the changes that I make to my image can really be honed in and specialized to the photo I'm working on. On the right hand side, I can also jump into any other module that I want to. So I've made some changes to this image. I'm ready to go into effects and maybe add a preset. I'll go ahead and click on the program. It pops open automatically. I can start by adding filters or accessing presets on the left hand side. So I'm going to add a filter, add one of my favorites, sunshine. I can play around with the amount, the warmth, and the saturation here, and I can click to add another filter, and let's go ahead and apply dynamic contrast. Just like with local adjustments, I can add masks, and I can customize where I want certain parts of my image to be affected. For this photo, I really only want the left side of my photo to be affected by that dynamic contrast. So all I need to do is just select my masking bug on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to click to add a gradient masking bug and just rotate it into place. And I'll feather it out just a smidge. And there we go. So now it's applying to the left part of my photo and the right part of my photo is left alone. So you still have all of these specialty options here inside of effects, but accessing these programs is a lot faster. What's even better here is I can jump into layers to composite this image if I want to replace the sky, or I can jump into resize from here and get it ready for print. But let's go ahead and jump back into Browse, and let me show you how to jump into another program as a plugin from On One. We're going to go ahead and take this image, 
right click or control click on it. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a section called send to. I can send this image to any other program of my choice from Lightroom to Photoshop. You'll also see that I have a whole bunch of other programs that I can send it to from Nick plugins to the Rad Lab plugin. And I can even select another application that I don't see here. Let's go ahead and say that we want to send this over to analog effects. This has a whole bunch of fun, old school, funky presets that you can apply, and it's really great for stylizing your images. So we'll go ahead and select this. I can edit my original or edit a copy. We're going to go ahead and make sure we edit a copy here, and I'll go ahead and just click edit. All right, so I've got my image open here, and on the left-hand side, I can go ahead and I can choose the camera selector. This is where I choose the type of camera that I want to emulate, and my favorite subsection is just vintage camera, and there's a whole bunch of really fun options here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one called Vintage Camera 7. We'll apply it. On the right-hand side, I can make any adjustments that I want, and once I'm done, I'll go ahead and just click Save. So now I have my newly edited image by using a plugin from On1 right alongside my original image that I made quick edits to here inside of On1. So what's really great about this is I can pair this program with any of the other applications that I really like to use. There's no waiting time, there's no confusion, everything pairs together wonderfully.